welcome back to your next note video. So we're going to be looking at observations and inferences and what the differences are between those. So an observation is using your senses to collect data about the world around you. So what are your senses? Smell, taste, sight, hearing, touch. So using those senses to collect data about the world around you. And data is just any recorded piece of information. Data can be anything. Data could be, my shirt is red. That's a piece of data. My hair is blondish. Piece of data. My nails are blue. And there's different types of data. We um, label them as different things. So there's qualitative data, which is descriptive. So color or relative information, like my shirt is red would be qualitative. My pants are black is qualitative. The wall behind me is blue, qualitative. Whereas a quantitative piece of data is a measurement. It's a number, it's a quantity. That's how you remember that. It's a quantity, it's a number. So I have five fingers. I have one hairband. I have two eyes. All quantitative pieces of data. So as I show you these things, I want you to identify, are they qualitative or quantitative? 15 centimeters. Yell it out like Dora again. Good. Quantitative. It's a quantity. Red shirt. Oh, I already gave you that one. It's qualitative. 423 students. Quantity. Quantitative. Large student body. Some people often struggle with that. What does large mean? Is large a number? No. So it is qualitative. They moved fast. How fast? We don't know. So it's qualitative. It's a generalization. 45 kilograms. 45 is a number. It's quantitative. 13.3 degrees Celsius. Number. It's a temperature. It's quantitative. Small bird. How small is small? It's qualitative. She was happy. Again, qualitative. Please make sure you know the difference between those two terms that will be on your test. You will have to identify things. And generally, if you don't know the difference, you will get all of them wrong. Make sure you don't switch them up. Quantitative data has a quantity. Next, an inference, a conclusion based on an observation. A conclusion based on an observation. So to connect inference and observation, an observation is something you're going to see in front of you, something you sense with your eyes, your nose, your ears, your mouth, you touch. Whereas an inference is something you could say about what you see or taste or feel or touch. So an observation is my nails are blue. An inference could be blue is her favorite color. It's not, it's green. You could see, an, you could observe that I have a tank top on. You could infer maybe I'm sweaty. That was an interesting inference, I'm sorry. We are gonna skip this activity just because it's hard to have discussion online. What your next um, top, um, not topic, what your next task is going to be is go back into yesterday's observations you made about the phenomenon. Not yesterday's, but a couple days ago. I forget we're in block schedule. I want you to highlight your observations, underline your inferences. And if you don't have at least three somewhere in your observations, add some new ones. So again, let me make myself bigger. Go back to this sheet that we did yesterday. You're gonna identify your observations and inferences and make extra in case you don't have enough. Um, 
you do have some additional homework to complete today, both in general chemistry and honors chemistry, so make sure you get those completed. Other than that, that is, is your final video for today. Have a lovely day, and let me know, of course, if you have any questions. Thank you.